Last week we started our Bible study on the Holy Spirit, and it was really fun. Um, I didn't give you a lot of chance to talk last week, but people talked to me throughout the week and gave me lots of really good comments. So we're going to start this week's class by talking about some of the things that people talked to me about over the last week. And so that's where we'll begin. And then we're going to go on to study Romans chapter 8. Romans 8 is a great chapter to, to study when you're talking about the Spirit because Paul makes a really um, definite argument about what the Spirit does in our lives. And so uh, we're going to go look at that chapter and we'll probably spend a couple of weeks there. So if you like reading ahead, Romans 8. Uh, when we go to the sermon, the sermon's a little different this week because I got thinking about the fact that um, lots of our hymns and lots of our classes and lots of the things we do kind of assume that everybody's happy. Our songs sing praise to God for all the good things he's done for us and and lots of times the sermons are really positive, like something great's going to happen. But what if uh, you don't feel like that all the time? What if you're carrying a big burden right now? What if you're sad or scared or lonely or depressed? What, what then? Is there a place in church for you if that's the case? Well, from experience, I know that there is. And so for a couple of months, I've been thinking about this, and this is when we're going to do it. The sermon this week is called, When Sadness Comes to Church. And I'm going to try and convince you uh, that... Not only should you come to church when you're sad, it's the place you need to be. So that's the sermon on Sunday. By now, I'm sure you've heard that the province has brought in mask mandates again. And so what that means is that we have to wear masks when we're in the church building. Everyone, all the time. So sadly, if you come to Bible study, you're going to have to wear your mask for two hours. That's just the way it's going to be, and we have to do that. So... Um, I'll record the Bible study for those who cannot do that, um, and you can watch it that way if you need to. But, but please do that, though. We need to be good examples. We need to follow the laws, whether we like them or not. And so um, masks will be required for everyone anytime they're in the building. Even during the week, we'll have to do that. So just please keep that in mind. I don't like ending on a bad note like that, so I do want to say that masks or not, I'm really looking forward to this weekend. I like my lessons. I think there's going to be lots to share and lots to talk about and lots of good. Hope to see you there.